the Red Flag 1 and Red Flag 2 class locomotives are multi-purpose electric locomotives built by the Kim Chong Tae Electric Locomotive Works, and operated by the North Korean State Railway. As a result of its being one of the first successes of the Charlima movement, along with being most numerous of all locomotive types on North Korea's railways, it has become a distinctive symbol of North Korea, featured on postage stamps, propaganda posters, at the Arirang Festival, and even a mural at a station of the Pyongyang Metro. In 2001, Kim Jong-il awarded the Hero of Labor title to the Red Flag 1 class in recognition of its long-standing service and the type has also been awarded the Order of the Red Banner of the Three Great Revolutions three times. When Korea was partitioned after the end of the Second World War, the Korean State Railway had inherited a number of Japanese-built electric locomotives from its colonial-era predecessor, the Chosen Government Railway. Following the end of the Korean War, the railway network underwent large-scale reconstruction, part of which was the expansion of electrification. Expanding electrification of North Korea's rail network meant that the 15 locomotives inherited from the chosen government railway would be insufficient. As a result, the Ministry of Railways bought a number of new electric locomotives from Czechoslovakia in the mid-1950s. Political concerns, such as desire for self-reliance, and the then-ongoing Chilima movement, however, led to the decision to undertake mass production domestically. To this end, a licensed build the ACODA Type 30E was bought, including technology transfer. At least one was built to the original design, but the primary focus was on the development of a larger, indigenous design based on the Type 30E. The result was the Red Flag 1, designed by a team led by Char and Cheyun. This was a universal locomotive considerably larger than the Type 30E, with coco axle arrangement and distinctive bodywork featuring a rounded front end and trapezoidal, inset cab windows, the traction motors, transformers, auxiliary motors, mast controller, and other components used on the first prototype were imported from the USSR or China. Production of the Red Flag 1 began in 1961 at the Kim Chong Tae Electric Locomotive Works in 1961. The first prototype rolled off the assembly line on 30 August 1961. Kim Il sung visited the plant for the occasion and chose the locomotive's name personally. The first production unit entered service on 14 January 1962, and another 20 were built that year. 30 more followed in 1963, and production continued steadily thereafter. However, due to a range of problems with reliability, production facilities and methods, difficulties in reproducing key components such as the NB410 traction motor and other complications that delayed mass production, it was until 1970 that the production design was finalized. Eventually over 150 were built. In 2002 the KSR rostered 290 electric locomotives, the bulk of the motive power fleet, with the Red Flag 1 type accounting for over half of that number. Over 50 years of operation, the Red Flag 1 class locomotives have made over 6 million kilometers in service. The earliest Red Flag 1 units had decorative chrome striping which was mostly omitted on later units, though did occasionally resurface on subsequent units. Their distinctive features are the rounded front end with trapezoidal cab windows, and fluted skirting with smooth car body sides. Later Red Flag 1 units deleted the chrome striping, and have a somewhat less rounded front end with more rectangular cab windows along with fluted skirting with fluted car body sides. The early style Red Flag 1 units numbered in the 5000 series were all painted in the standard light blue over dark green livery, or, with a minor variation, light green over dark green. The vast majority of those numbered in the 5100 series also carry the standard livery, but one exception has been noted, painted in the orange over red lightning scheme. The late style red flag 1 units, numbered in the 5200 and 5300 series, were likewise all painted in the standard scheme.